It was a success! Woo! Good morning, Internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, Riddler? Riddler says, I'm doing, I'm sleepy. Sassy says, I'm always sleepy. And MRL says, I'm going to play with my reindeer. I ripped a hole in his foot, but I still like to play with him. So, the morning has been kind of frustrating. And to not really go into detail about it, and just sum it all up into one sentence is... Heard, but not listened to. There you go. It's issues with... MRL hasn't had an accident in the house in a while. He peed at the front door this morning, and suddenly it means he's not potty trained. Which is stupid. It was one accident. He's been doing very well. So, I'm not mad at him at all. Because he's doing very well. Aren't you, buddy? Say, mommy isn't going to get mad about an accident, especially since you've been doing good. Get it. Get the reindeer. Get the reindeer. Arr. And now I am getting ready. I'm going to go to my mom's office and help decorate for a Valentine's Day she has. It's either tonight or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. And yeah, so just wanted to tell you guys good morning. And I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys. So dear Mr. Riddler, dear Mr. Amarel, and dear Miss Sassy Girl. So right now I'm just chilling in bed, watching YouTube. Um, I helped my mom with decorating for her Valentine's dance, which is tonight. And if she doesn't have me go, then I'm probably... I need to move this. I have one straight bang. What the crap, man. Um, I'll probably take Amarel and do some training with him. Um, because we haven't gone out in a while, haven't we, little boy? He doesn't care. He's got his Kong on a rope toy. Um, and I just wanted to point out that this little puppy is wonderful. Um, I started getting anxious and worried about, does he show the qualities of being a service dog already? Which I know that's asking for a lot out of him, but you know, I thought why not go ahead and find out? otherwise it's going to plague me for the rest of my life. So I looked up a website that I remembered looking up a long time ago when I was first on my search for a prospect and there were some things that it said to do when doing testing. So even though he's older than the testing said I went ahead and compared them. First was retrieval. If he's willing to retrieve an item and bring it to you then he or she is willing to work and willing, eager to please. He does do retrieval. It did take him a little bit to figure that out. But he likes doing retrievals. And on occasion, he brings me things he's not supposed to. Like socks. But he'll give them up to me when I ask for them. Another one was like... Um, does he follow you around? Does he stay by your side? Which he does. Um, my brother thinks it's super weird. Hey, I'm trying to talk about your brother. Shut your face hole. That's not your face hole shutting. Sassy. Are you doing okay, honey? I love you. <laughs> Dying whale. Stop. Good boy. So, um, my brother thinks it's weird that Emeril likes to be in the bathroom with me if I'm using the bathroom or if I'm in the shower. And apparently the few times that I have been in the shower without him, he has laid outside the door waiting for me. So, <laughs> I'm a wonderful dog. Um, and then there's how he reacts to different things, which he reacts just fine. He has forgiven me for yelling at him. He, I have played really loud noises around him and he didn't care. There's just so much that he shows that he can do that makes me more confident that he's going to be a great service dog. Because, of course, you guys know that I panic enough about him being a good service dog. Like, that website kind of makes me hopeful because I see it in him. And, Morel, do you want to say hi to your internet friends? 
Do you want to say hi to the Riddler? <laughs> Emerald, look how fluffy your ears are. And of course, my sassy girl. I love her so much. So now I'm probably going to finish watching a documentary that I was looking at, and I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys, there's Emerald. Hi, buddy. So, I feel like an idiot sandwich. You want to know why? So, I've just dropped my brother off at Magic. I was going to take little boy to the park and do some training, but I've decided to do instead, um, take him to Lowe's for some training. And I called and asked permission and it's fine. Well, I forgot to feed him before we left, so I went ahead and fed him. And then he started dry heaving in the car, which got me really worried. But... We stopped at Wendy's for Tyler to get something to eat. I took little boy outside. He was fine. And then he had diarrhea. And now I'm super worried. I'm like, almost like, do I even need to take him to Lowe's, period? Of course, my anxious thoughts were like, oh, it's Parvo. But it didn't smell like Parvo. And yes, there's a smell to it, which is, it sounds weird in TMI, but know that Parvo does have a distinct smell that does not smell like normal poop. Um, so now... I decided we'll go to Lowe's. We'll stay there about 15 minutes. And if it doesn't go well, if he's still feeling sick, then we're taking him straight home. So right now he's acting pretty fine. So we'll see what happens. Hey guys. Maybe a little bit. I know he's pulling, he's sniffing. But we're doing pretty good at Lowe's, aren't we boy? All right, you ready? Little boy sit. MRL. Sit. Yes. Focus. Yes. Good boy. Wait. Wait. I know. There's a weird sound. Wait. Yes. Good boy. See, we're working on it. Hey guys. Dear little boy. It was a success. Woohoo! So. It went swimmingly. We ended up staying there for about 45 minutes or so. And he got to meet a lot of new people, experience new smells. We'll need to work on heel. Our heel is a little bit rusty. Actually, it's a lot of rusty, but we're working on it. What do you think, bud? Was that fun? Once he got out of the car and actually was out working, he was wonderful. And it's so weird how, like, outside of home when he's actually working or training, he's a lot calmer. He's pulling, but he's a lot calmer than he is at home. So now we are about to head home and I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys! So you can tell by the shiny on my face, I put lotion on. Yay! And there's my little star today, chewing on his reindeer. Probably making that hole bigger in the poor reindeer's foot. And there's Riddler, he's being my cuddle bunny. Look at that. <laughs> Do you not like me playing with your back fat? I want you to scratch my belly. <gasps> and there's Miss Sassy Girl, of course, sleeping. So I thought I'd give you guys a little bit more detail about how tonight went. Um, so he got to meet so many new people. One of the highlights was he got to meet a woman who was in a motorized, like, cart wheelchair thing. You know, those things at the grocery store. I can't remember the name. They, I think it's called motorized cart. And he, like, he came out to her, he was sniffing it, like, what's this thing? But otherwise, he was great. He heard all sorts of weird noises and machines working. I got him to stand on some carts and even on a shelf and under things and between doors. And he was great. Um, it also was a great moment to educate people. The woman that was in the motorized cart actually asked me if there are service dogs for diabetics, which... I gave her the, I told her that yes, there are service dogs for diabetics. They can be trained to alert to low blood sugar, not low blood pressure, what? And I think hypoglycemia, I think they could do that too. I'm not 100% sure about that one, but, um, and there were some people that whenever I was like, you can pet him, they're like, are you sure he's wearing a vest? Which I thought was great. I never thought my hometown would be more educated about service dogs. I thought they would not be, and it was great. Um, 
there was a couple of kids that said doggy and you know he kind of looked their way but kept going later I let the kids pet him because he needed more experience with children and he loved it the one thing I didn't like which I mean Emeril ignored it was there was this one kid who started barking at him and of course he just kept on going with me and I'm just like why are you barking at my dog that's weird man um highlight of the night the lady I had talked to on the phone asking permission to bring him in I purposely like when we were leaving asked for her so that she could meet Emerel. and you would think it was her birthday and Christmas at the same time she was so overjoyed to meet him um it was so so cute and he sat there so nice and gentleman and just let her pet him um, a lot of people comment on how soft he is and how pretty he is, which he's a very pretty boy. Are you a pretty boy? Hey, Mommy, I'm busy destroying this reindeer. But yes, he is such a pretty boy. Um, I had someone say that he looks like a golden retriever in the face. I don't know. What do you guys think? Emerald! Emerald! I don't know. And then somebody else thought he was part Cocker Spaniel. Which, of course, it makes sense that his breed would get confused because long-haired Weimaraners are extremely rare. Ooh, that reminds me. Um, there was somebody on Instagram who was like, they're looking for a long-haired Weimaraner as a service dog. And like, how are the temperaments of Weimaraners? Which, temperament's good. But my very first thought, I haven't replied to this person yet and I need to, first thought was, don't try looking for a long hair. Long hair is extremely rare. Like, the first time that the breeder I got Emerald from ever saw it was in Riddler's litter. Riddler is the litter before Emerald. So, it is extremely rare to find a long-haired Weimaraner. So, my suggestion would be, just look for a Weimaraner. It doesn't matter if they're long-haired or short-haired. It really shouldn't matter what they look like. The temperament is what matters. Because, I mean, both Emerald and Riddler are beautiful dogs. But Emerald has the better temperament for service work than Riddler does. No offense, Riddler. But you get a little too scared of things. I still love you. I still love you. I do. So, now, we're just kind of chilling out. Until it gets closer to bedtime, and I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys! And yes, when my hair air dries, it becomes this. It's just floof. So, I give up on trying. I mean, it looks better whenever it's got product in it, but since I'm going to be interning tomorrow, I'm going to have it pulled back anyway. But hi, Emerald. Are you ready for bedtime, buddy? Hi, Riddler. Hi, Sassafrasum. Emerald. Do you want to give a shout out to one of our special friends? Apparently you have a special friend that likes it whenever I talk to you. So ready? We're going to say hi to our special friend. Tizzy! Tizzy, hi puppy! Say hi friend! This is your friend all the way from Georgia. Be a good girl, Tizzy. And don't forget, we need to give shout-outs to Luigi and Bentley, too. Say hi, Luigi. Hi, Bentley. This is Emerald. So, I feel like I was going to say something. I hate whenever I do this. Like, it's like I knew I was going to say something, and then I forgot. Oh, yeah, now I remember. So, my mind is already running, thinking, I wonder where my mom and my brother are. Like, last thing I knew, they were supposed to be coming home a little bit early. Um, this is normally the time that my brother comes home from playing Magic. And of course, automatically my brain's like, something happened to them. And I'm like, no it didn't. Yes, that did. You're going to wake up and they're not home. And I'm like, no brain. That's not happening. Yes, it is. Anxious brain, please shut up. Thank you. Well, actually, it's going to shut up in a minute anyway because I took my meds, so I'm about to fall asleep. So now I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Um, question of the day. 
Let's see, I want one that everybody can respond to. Because sometimes I ask just service dog questions and I'm sorry. Um, so, what is a good question of the day? My nose is itchy. Um. Do, 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 do. Okay, here's one. Star Wars or Star Trek? Or neither. Or both. I prefer Star Wars over Star Trek personally, but, you know, Spock's pretty cool too, I guess. So put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Riddler, who is waiting for Mom and Tyler to get home so that you can run downstairs and say hi. Good night, my little fluff butt, who did so good. By the way, look at his whale collar. He finally fits it. Yay! And good night, my sassy girl. Sweet dreams, guys.